ने शुभम गट्टानी एंड आई एम ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स ओल्ड आई लिव इन अहमदाबाद गुजरात आई एम एन एक्स स्टूडेंट ऑफ आई आई टी दिल्ली आई थिंक बिफोर द रोल आउट ऑफ दिस डेटा साइंस प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम आई आई टी मद्रास इट वॉज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल टू कम्प्लीट योर ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम ए प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक आई आई टी मद्रास डोंट थिंक एनी बडी हैज डन समथिंग लाइक दिस एट लीस्ट बिग बिग इंस्टीट्यूट सो एज ए पर्सन विथ स्पेशल एबिलिटीज दैट हेल्थ इशू uh it was it was literally a no brainer for me to join this program so as soon as i got to know about this i immediately uh, applied for the qualifier exam uh i want to say that the courses are extremely useful and each course of this program has been thoughtfully developed and the rigor is uh, something that not many students will be able to handle at least uh, in my group of all the friends i think i am the only one who thinks that it is doable uh, not many think like uh, with a good cgp of course with a cgp of above 9 not many are able to do this uh, so especially after the foundation level so foundation level is doable three courses or four courses per term but uh, as soon as you go uh, above the foundation level the target of completing at least three courses per term seems reasonable only when you are doing diploma in data science you can do three courses per term for diploma in data science but uh, it suddenly becomes 3x difficult uh, with programming courses especially means all the programming courses dbms java pdsa i don't think even one programming course is uh, i can say it is easy especially if you are uh, learning it for knowledge not just like passing the course but if you are really want to learn it then it becomes 3x difficult compared to the data science courses and uh, especially if someone lacks the skills to be focused and manage the manage the time effectively then uh, three courses per terms is very very difficult so to succeed in this program it is a must to set your priorities right i have uh, personally kept my education as a top priority now and hence the self discipline skill has come automatically because of the mindset and uh, i have also learned how to ask questions how to ask for help and uh, participate in in meaningful discussions especially on the discourse forums uh, so these are the skills i have developed in this program so actually after dropping out of iit delhi i didn't thought that uh, i could complete my education from any iit uh, but uh, thanks to iit madras that they launched this program and all i can say is that uh, this program from iit madras has brought tremendous inclusivity in indian education system and uh, now many more institutes have rolled out their own online programs taking inspiration from iit madras and uh, talking about the grades uh, which i have right now uh, right from the start means right from the qualifier itself grades were never on my mind in, in i didn't even uh, knew that what are grades uh what uh, i think that just uh, study what they are teaching what the professors are teaching and uh, whatever they taught i thought that this is a good thing means uh, not not something like uh, uh what i have to do this is useless i never thought like that so grades were never on my mind my only aim was that i should grasp as much knowledge as possible while i am studying and practice properly before the exams Uh, so good grades uh, seem to be just a natural consequence of this mindset uh, a message to the new ent- new entrants of this program is that don't try to reinvent the wheel every term because now there are so many students who can advise you how to study a particular subject every subject has its own way to study uh, so you must try to learn from those who have already succeeded not just uh, means not only those who have uh, 9.5 or 10 cgpa but even those who are 8.5 cgpa they can also advise you what not to do because everyone has his own his or her own story uh, so you must try to learn from them uh, second advice is you must try to form a group of uh, four to five friends at least three friends if not four to five and divide divide the topics and then share share your learnings afterwards so this way you will learn effectively and uh, a lot of time will be saved to learn or practice other technologies which might not be formally covered in this program so 
some of them are like learning git or github although uh, i think iitm held a workshop on git or github uh, but it was only a once uh, once i think one year back so after that there was no workshop so you but git or github is a uh, is a must uh, if you are going into especially the web development part so you can learn that or you uh, must try to learn some business intelligent tools like power bi or tableau they were covered briefly in the tds course but uh, i think you you have to maybe purchase a course from udemy so that will be very helpful even if you uh, can put on your resume or uh, then the most more important part you can also uh, get your hands on some uh, cloud based technology like azure if you are interested you can get some certification as well and now all this will be possible only if you have time left after your uh, three course per term that uh, time will be left if you are not after cgpa you will have a lot of time but if if you want to score good marks as well get your hands on some new technologies or uh, some other requirements then you must form a group of some uh, study group and then divide the topics and then share uh, share your learnings and at the same time don't try to reinvent the wheel uh, ask uh, people who have already passed that course with a good grades they will surely advise you on how to study effectively uh, is to get settled in a job that is related to data science only and i am not after any masters degree or any other competitive exam uh, so any job related to data science and improve upon my knowledge in that field only and uh, if possible i will upskill myself uh, with a cloud technology whenever i get extra time